of Biotechnica. Welcome back again to wonderful video. So today I'll be talking about the important books to prepare for QWIT UG examinations. So let's talk about in detail. So as we all know, what is this QWIT UG all about? This QWIT UG is actually a central university entrance examination, very specifically conducted by most of the universities uh, to actually allow the students to pursue their bachelors in any of the fields. So today I'll be talking about QWIT UG biology very specifically. Those who want to start BSc in biochemistry or microbiology, then you can write this examination, which is QWIT UG examinations. So there are going to be three sections and I'll be talking about all the important books in all the three sections. The first section, as if you can see here, it's section 1A and section 1B. This section 1A and 1B is definitely going to have a reading comprehension, usually going to be English, which can be a factual or literary and narrative things and literary aptitude and they're going to check your vocabularies. So for this section 1A and 1B, you can actually refer some of the books. Usually this is English language book, which you might be following it during your school days. So English grammar in use by Raymond Murphy. And you can also go in for competitive English grammar and composition by Arihant book also. You can go for this. The next is the most well-known book for everybody, which is Renan Martin, a high school English grammar and composition. So you can actually find a vocabularies from this. This section 1A and 1B is definitely going to be very easy if you know uh, basic grammar. So you can follow any of these book. I would suggest a uh, first, second and third, very specifically, the second goes really well for this examination. The next session section is going to be uh, your subject section, which is going to be, suppose if you want to go in for chemistry, it is going to be chemistry. But right now we are talking about for life science candidate. It can be biochemistry or microbiology. If you want to study, then you can go for this. Usually you will get your questions only from your NCRT 12th book. So most of the questions, I would say most of them comes from your NCRT syllabus only but if you want to check any other books then I can suggest these books usually NCRT book only but you can go for any of these books which we can say is NCRT exemplar so you can see this book which is actually here you can go for this one you can get in MTG actually you can go for MTG which is really good it has a lot of problems questions along with solutions so you can take up this book for your practice purpose the next, this is MTG, very specially for section one also they have, section two also they have, and section three also they have. They, they have almost 15 practice papers. So you can go for this book also. The next book is Campbell and Rees, Together with Biology by S. Chand Biology by Campbell and Rees. You can actually take this book. Usually go for NCRT book because you will get all the questions from there. Then after that, you can take up this book and then this book. If you really wanted to learn something extra, then you can go for this together with biology. And the next book is S. Chan's Biology for Class 12 by B.P. Pandey. The next book is going to be Pradeep's A Textbook of Biology Class 12 by P.S. Dami. This is for Section C, very specifically for biology. What about Section 3rd? This is Section 3rd. Section Third is actually a general test. So as we know, section one is for vocabulary testing. Section two is for your subject. And section C is for your general test. What does this general test has? This general test actually has all the aptitude questions. So you're going to have a general knowledge questions, current affairs, general mental ability, numerical ability, quantitative reasonings like simple calculations till your 8th or 9th grade you will have that much calculations only basic mathematics geometry mensurations logical and analytical reasoning so i would suggest nta ug 2022 book very specifically for this general test so you can go to this book you will have a lot of questions so this is a very standard book for following for general test where you will see all the aptitude one, but I'm going to list out some other books also for you. Suppose if you want to study general awareness book, then you can go for some of the books. So you can see some of the books, which is here. So the first you can see is general knowledge by Arihant. You can go for Arihant book. And the second one is Disha Rapid General Knowledge by Disha Expert. This is a very nice book where you can go for general awareness also. The next is going to be your analytical skills. 
analytical reasoning and logical reasoning by arihant this is one of the important book that you we usually follow it for aptitude so you can go for this the next book is analytical reasoning by mk pande you can go for either arihant or you can go for pande whichever is comfortable for you the next is mathematical aptitudes you can go for loosen publication complete mathematics or you can go for rs agarwal book quantitative aptitude for competitive examination by rs agarwal or as you can go for some shortcuts in quantitative aptitude by disha experts the next is the test of arithmetic by arihant publication so you can follow these books for section 3 and to summarize this one i can say section 1a and 1b you can literally go for ren and martin basic english you can go for or you can go for arihant book the second section biology i would suggest very specifically go for your ncert 12th book very thoroughly if you want to learn it a bit extra then you can go for ncert exemplar and then go for your practice question this is more important 15 practice question from section 1 section 2 and section 3 will be given then if i have to talk about uh, section 3 then you can go for disha expert book and general knowledge by arihant you can go for it and then you can go for analytical reasoning by arihant and then you can go for quantitative aptitude by rs agarwal also you can go for pande also so these are the some of important books that you have to follow when you're preparing for qet ug examinations so if you are in your 12th grade then if you want to pursue your ug in a common central university through entrance examination then you can definitely go for this uh, qet examination so these are some of the important books that you have to follow during your examination time for subjects stick on to ncert very specifically so i believe that this video is helpful for those who are watching out this video who are aspiring to write this qet ug examination so if you really like this video please like share and subscribe to our channel biotechnica thank you so much for joining and i'm going to meet you back again with at another wonderful video thank you